hi and welcome to this lecture and this free FATEC PLC programming course in the previous lecture we have discussed about how you can um, download and install FATEC PLC programming software which is WinPro Ladder uh, and we have installed in our computer so uh, this lecture is about the introduction of the software how you can use the software uh, so just open the software from the desktop so this screen will appear like that there are several options we have several sections we have and we should know about these these uh, majority of these functions for making PLC program in this software so if you want to create a new project uh, so we will cl uh, click here um, in the file and on new project um, icon or new project function so and if we have existing project uh, means previous project as I have already made these projects in my um, previous projects as like in quarter simple program register function timer sample counter sample these are just programs I have I used to uh, make for someone so if we have program we can open from here um, now we are going to click on new project so this function will appear and this pop up will appear we have to write our project name here we can change whatever we want to write here and uh, model number is very important to select to connect the program with the PLC it's very very important thing that you have to uh, you must notice uh, before creating a new project so as we have uh, FBS 14 MA PLC uh, so we will select from here FBS and 14 MA right then click OK so here FBS 14 MA and the configuration of this PLC is here we have total 8 DC inputs and 6 outputs so to total are 14 we can write description of the project here we can click on calendar if you want to add calendar timing and dates in the p uh, in the programming click on ok to get this section right in this section in this section we will make our PLC program these are networks we have network 0 network 1 network number 2 network number 3 and so on these are units we have main unit and subunit what are the purpose of these main units and sub units um, uh, actually when we have long IOS projects so we will create project we will make project uh, in the se in the uh, you know separate uh, and different units so that's why these we can add or remove these units uh, according to our need um, these are our functions normally open normally close coil set reset functions counter timer uh, we will use this these functions in um, our further lectures and let me explain this section this section here uh, in the system configuration we will get knowledge about uh, what we can use about the configuration of our inputs and outputs about the memory allocation means what what type of memories we can use um, as you can see here retentive coil I cannot explain all the thing here in this lecture uh, what retentive are what what is non retentive and what are the functions of these timers but we will discuss uh, about these all in the further lectures uh, so here are details we have input input is uh, X type so we have total 256 input we can use the same here for output relay we can use 256 and uh, will represent by Y and memories internal mem internal memories retentive non retentive these are actually details of uh, what we can use in this pro in this software for making program and in the end these are ROR registered uh, known as data register in the ladder diagram section we have units as I already have discussed here we have two unit we can add and remove these units as per our need um, these are analog section we will discuss it later 
and the comment section is also important for beginner uh, PLC programmer um, to get knowledge about about every element that uh, he or she has used in in her or uh, his PLC program or project. Um, program unit are uh, as we have here two program unit main unit and sub unit when we will double click here it will appear a pop up uh, main unit we can add here fatag main unit right so it will appear here you can see here fatag main programming is a main unit and when we will click on sub unit it's empty here so uh, for sub unit click here double click here sub unit and click on ok and ok so here main unit and when we will click on sub unit so sub unit will appear here network number network number means as I have already told you about networks we have several networks we can use uh, we will use this network to divide our PLC program uh, for better understanding actually so we have several networks as we have N0, N1, N2, network number 0, network number 1 and we can assign these networks uh, with the comments um, because we have not used uh, we have not made a program here in, the, in any network so these are empty currently element comment means if I want to add an element here for example these are elements that we will use these are elements functions that we will use here and if and I want to um, tell the program that it's a switch on button right so I will go in the element comment so uh, these tick marks show me that I have used this um, element I will write here on button and ok description I can write if there is any long thing to define the element so on button you can see here comment will appear so these are elements comment network comment and program unit comment A status page we will use to get to know about the life status of any element that we will use in this program uh, we will use um, the status page in our approximately every program in the future IOS numbering is something that I don't want to discuss right now because you will get confused we will discuss it later in the edit section just as uh, normal functions copy paste delete select all in the view functions if I don't want to view uh, uh, I don't want to see the program unit comment in my any program so I will just disk click here means remove the click so as you can see it is disappeared now from my program when I will click back it will appear again so these are just view that what I want to see and what I what I don't want to see here sorry for that and if uh, when the ladder means the functions that we will use in our program to make PLC programming as uh, normally open contact normally close contact so these are just functions just normal functions that that will help us to make our PLC program uh, in in the next section of PLC it will work when PLC is connected to our system it will use um, to run the PLC, to stop the PLC, to go online, offline, to make simulation and simulation. Uh, it's just a controlling section we have. Tool window and help are uh, actually very common, so we will not discuss here. It's actually very common thing means we, if we want to uh, get help from the software manufacturer, so we will click here and like that. Uh, for example, we want to. Um, no toggle switch about toggle switch so it's already defined here what toggle switch is so this is these are the functions main functions that we will use in this win pro ladder software uh, if I want to save the project I will go save as project file and write any name here 
select the place where I want to save and it's there is no option to change click on save it will save my program in my desktop section it will here right so these are just main functions we will use in the uh, FedEx PLC programming software which is WinProLater uh, from the next lecture we will start making our program uh, so see you in the next lecture thank you